Well, I'm Sam Robertson, and uh, I think I've been at Eastern Hills since 2019. So I was born in 1964 in the beautiful town of Arlington, Texas. I'm the baby of the family, uh, two big brothers and, a, and an older sister. In the house, it, it was, I think, the buzzword kind of dysfunctional. Some days it was awesome, some days it wasn't good. Daddy was a little bit of a physical abuser, uh, a lot of a bit of a physical abuser. Uh, he hurt all of us. Uh, mom was distant. Sounds really strange, I don't do this for the drama, but I was the kid mom didn't want. Uh, I think she was done having kids and then all of a sudden, surprise, surprise, you know, not only was I born in Texas, but she was done having kids. So we were distant most of my life. Uh, my father died when I was 16. That day really changed my life. Um, I walk into the, the, the house, walked around the corner and I went to the kitchen. My father was standing there with a cup of coffee, staring at me, no words, and he, fell, collapsed, 42 years old, uh, on the kitchen floor. So I, I got to do CPR on him, um, called, you know, I didn't get to call 911 because we had to dial zero back then, got the operator, ambulance came, paramedics came. By the time they came, it was too late. And so, yeah, you know, at 16, I had to deal with the fact my father was dead and I probably had a lot to do with it, even though they've proved I had nothing to do with it. But it, that was a, a burden a burden to carry for a little bit. Mom and I didn't work out very well, so by my senior year I was on my own. Um, she gave me the ultimatum, obey my rules or move out, and I think it took 10 minutes to pack everything up and I was gone. And so it was It was just, it was a tough childhood that, and, and I know, you're gonna think I'm strange, that I thank God daily for. I'm, I'm glad I went through that because it's given me a compassionate heart for those who fight things in life. It's, it's sad that things like this happen to children. It's sad that there's grown adults that don't know what it's like to be loved by their parents. Um, and I found, I found things in life that, fill, that, that filled that void. And, and I married into a family that loved me. Stacy's mom and dad cherished me. Her father made me feel like a son. Taught me things I never knew about being a dad, being a husband. And so I could spend my life as an adult saying, I never had this, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. And yet God said, here's a man named Jimmy. And Jimmy's gonna give you what you need. Sometimes I just have to look back and see what God's done. And in the midst of some of the, the crazy junk in my life, I just see how he's been there and he just, I grew from it. And so just like anything in life, sometimes you just gotta hurt a little bit to grow. In 2012, um, I was standing in our house and something didn't feel right. And Stacy's already in bed and I yelled out to her and I said, hey, I, I'm going to the emergency room. I did the responsible thing. I drove myself to the ER and uh, walked in and was really scared. It was um, Easter Sunday, it was that evening. And the Athens ER was packed. And I remember the feeling of walking in thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die in here. Uh, it was confirmed that I had a heart attack and now I'm freaking out because I'm just waiting to die. And they take me in an ambulance to Tyler. Um, I, I'm now the proud owner of 11 stents in my body to make sure my heart works. They put me on a, a pill to thin my blood and it was called Berlinta. Little did I know, no research, I trusted my cardiologist. Berlinta kind of skipped some of the testing and got onto the market. And one of the things that Berlinta does is causes head bleeds, brain bleeds, hemorrhages, and um, people die from that. So 2016 comes and um, I don't know. I, family tells me I was incoherent. I wasn't speaking well. I have no memory of any of this. Uh, my brain started bleeding. So I got to take a life flight from Athens to Tyler and they cut my head open and stopped the bleeding. And uh, I got to learn cool things like walking and talking and it's changed my life. Um, Satan's really good at what he does. So he's, he's really good at making me feel stupid and not worthy. That's the warfare that he rages against us every day. And I can sure preach about it, but man, it's hard to walk through it. It's really difficult to walk through it. So blessed um, from there, you know, two more grandkids since then. So we're up to three. Have I said that too many times? Cause I'm gonna say it about 20 more times. I think I'm more relaxed in life. 
I, I think I enjoy littler things now, but I, I like simple. I like just hanging out, you know, seeing the family on Thursday nights. We do a meal every Thursday. I just like <sighs> that part. I'm, I feel so blessed. Anybody who's about to go through what I've gone through physically, medically, emotionally, you're not alone. But through the storm, through all of this chaos in my life, I can just hear him say, hey, you're not alone. I'm here with you. The things that we have struggled with in our lives, the things that we thought were about to break us, we look back and what did they do? They made us a little bit stronger. Why is it that when somebody hurts, we run to that person if we have shared that kind of hurt. I think the Bible says these things have happened so that you may bless somebody else. There are people who identify, but there is a God who loves you so much that I can't even put it into words how much he loves you. He absolutely adores you. Don't let the things that happened in your life identify who you are for the rest of your life. Don't allow that. That's not you. I'm a better husband now than I was when I was 20 years old. I hope I'm a better husband. At a young age as a Christian man, I heard this guy speak and he used this phrase and I have stolen it from him. And I'm, I'm saying that now, I stole the phrase. I, I'm just gonna be happy if I get in the gate. I'll, I'll mow the yard, I'll clean toilets. I just wanna be there. I don't need the mansion. I don't need gold roads. I don't need pearly gate. I don't, I don't need, I just want to be there. I just want to walk into heaven and go, Whew. and now all I got to do is focus on Jesus, and God. I just got to focus. That's what I want to do for eternity. I have no ulterior motive. I have no big plans. And I hope it's just as good as I dream sometimes. That's what I want.